like to go over a few points about a standard good neighbor fence. We use these a lot in Northern California, divides one property from the other. So let me get into what, what are the key points on this. Um, the grade of lumber we use for a fence like this is called construction heart redwood. Uh, there is also a uh, construction common redwood, which has a lot more white or blondish wood through this. The darker wood for redwood is what has the heavier tannins in it and makes it more resistant to rotting and it's a longer lasting and higher quality of wood. So that's what we like to use for our fencing. The post here is a Douglas fir. They've stained it to give it a similar color to the redwood. It's perforated and injected with chemicals which will prevent rotting over a longer period of time and the Douglas fir is a stronger wood than the redwood. So that's what we use for our posts to avoid rotting because they're, mount, they're anchored into the ground in a concrete footing. Also, we have uh, trim pieces that are one by twos and the support rail is a two by four with a uh, two by eight kicker. We call this part down here the kicker and the purpose of the kicker is to keep the bottom rail from sagging. So it braces against the ground and supports the bottom rail from sagging so that the entire fence is structurally supported ac across its base. One of the things that's important to me is having good strong connections. The reason we use this one by two down here is to keep these boards from moving around if they tend to shorten up or shrink over time, which they will. The support is the two by four and as I mentioned the two by eight down here. The most important part of a fence, in my opinion, is the footing. We, the biggest place we find failure in fences, older fences, is right here at the junction between the concrete footing and the post. This post was done just the way we like to see them. The, there is a crown to the concrete. The soil comes nowhere near the actual wood, so right here if I had soil touching, Right in that area there is where most posts fail because they rot because people pour soil against the, uh, they put their concrete too low and their soil against the actual wood. So this element right here, very critical, and we also use what's called a wet cement mix. The cement is fully mixed before it goes into the hole so that we can form it like this. Many fencing contractors use what's called a dry sack mix where they dig a hole they dump the cement in the dry mix into the hole, squirt water in there, move it around a little, and leave it like that. Unfortunately, you don't get as good of a, a coverage of the post, and the post is more prone to rotting. And also, it's, uh, in that case, you can't build the concrete up above grade to create this crown that you see here. So those are the critical elements of a well-put-together fence.